Number 10. How fast must a 3,000 kilogram elephant move to have the same kinetic energy as a 65 kilogram sprinter running at 10 meters per second? All right. So first of all, they got to have the same kinetic energies, right? So I can start with a very simple equation. That the kinetic energy right, of the elephant must equal the kinetic energy right, of the sprinter. And then, right, we know that kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mv squared. So now I can break both of these down, right, into mv squared, essentially, right? So I'll just write down the halves, even though they're going to cancel, all right? So half times then the mass of the elephant multiplied by the velocity of that elephant squared should be equal to half multiplied by the mass of the sprinter multiplied by the velocity of the sprinter squared. Okay, so again, you can see here the halves are going to cancel. What are we looking for? Well, we're looking for the, the speed. So we're looking for the speed of the elephant. Okay, so we should know all the other variables. And we do, right? What's the mass of the elephant? They told us it's, it's uh, 3,000 kilograms. So this is 3,000. Actually, you know what? Let me just solve this for the velocity first instead of plugging in the numbers, all right? So the mass of the elephant divided on out. So the mass of the elef uh, elephant, all right? So we get then the velocity of the elephant squared should equal the mass of the sprinter times the velocity of the sprinter squared all divided by the mass of the elephant. And then to find just the velocity of the elephant, I gotta get rid of the square, so I take the square root. So the velocity of the elephant will equal the square root of the mass of the sprinter multiplied by the velocity of the sprinter squared all divided by the mass of the elephant. So now all we literally simply have to do is plug in, right? So the velocity of the element, uh, elephant, thinking too fast, right? is equal to the mass of the sprinter. So they told us it was 65 kilograms. The velocity of the sprinter was 10 meters per second. That's squared. All divided then by the mass of the elephant, which was 3,000 kilograms. So we now know that the velocity of the elephant needs to be square root of 65 times 10 squared, all divided by 3,000. 1.47, okay? 1.47. 1.47 meters per second. So if you think about it, that's kind of crazy, right? That's barely, uh, that's like a crawl, you know? Uh, it's really not that fast at all. Um, I mean, it's not a crawl, but it's really not, you know, it's sprinters at 10 meters per second. This would be like a leisurely walk. So um, it's interesting, right? And the reason why this is the case is because the elephant has significantly more mass. All right, so it takes a lot more energy to move that amount of mass than it would, you know, a 65 kilogram sprinter. So, and that's what, you know, part B says, discuss how the larger energy is needed. So again, you know, to move this elephant, you know, just by this speed of 1.47 meters per second, it would take the same energy, um, you know, as it would uh, for a sprinter to move at 10 meters per second. And it relates to metabolic rates, meaning that, you know, the elephant would need a much faster metabolic rate, right? The elephant would have to consume significantly more food um, than a human would in order to maintain the same processes and even just locomotion, as you can see. All right. So, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. See you in the next question. Take care.